Alright guys, so welcome back to another video on the channel. This is going to be the next video of Ionic series. In this video, we're going to talk about Ionic Native. So Ionic Native is uh, is basically a wrapper for Cordova plugin that makes adding native functionality to Ionic app easy. So you can use uh, a lot of uh, native stuff by using Ionic Native. For example, you might want to access the camera on your device so you can go and use a camera plugin. You want to maybe use, uh, for example, you want to use a date picker, you can do that. So there's a lot of things available here, pretty much everything you will require to build any app. Now today we're going to be using native storage, so a lot of times you will need to store some information to your local device. So if you are running your application on iPhone, you might want to store something to iPhone. So for that, we're going to be using a native storage API. So native storage API variable uh, stores variables in Android and iOS. So I'm going to take you to WebStorm and an app that we have. It's a blank template. And we're going to install a native storage uh, a plugin. So here, this is an app running. So we have a input field, save. We have a get uh, button. So we can basically save something to native storage and then get it back. So what we want to do is I want to stop the browser and I want to emulate this uh, to the iPhone emulator. So we're going to go and type in a terminal, ionic emulate, or we can say ionic Cordova emulate iOS dash dash target and I'm going to define iPhone let's just say iPhone 8 okay now it's going to take some time and build my project let me take you back to Ionic Native and we can look at the documentation here so here you can see you can install Cordova plugin by just typing this command into terminal which will go and grab Cordova plugin for you and then you can install npn install ionic native native storage at beta now it gives you an example how you can use this uh, native plugin which basically makes our life very very easy i'm going to be making a couple of videos uh, just to show you guys some uh, some tricky native plugins that require some instruction but Pretty much all of these you can use by just going to their API documentation and look at this usage section, which will pretty much explain to you how you can use this API and how uh, you can customize it. It will tell you everything about this basically. So we'll go to native storage where it was here. And let's take a look at our emulator. It hasn't started yet. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this line of code here. And I'm just going to go and paste this into a terminal. Let me just copy this. I'm going to wait for terminal, uh, wait for emulator to start. Emulator has started. I can see the same app running in the emulator now. So you're going to have to use Cordova of if you want to uh, use native plugins in your browser and you might have to do ionic cordova emulate a browser instead of using just ionic serve so now i have these two functions save to native and get from native so what i'm going to do i'm going to type something here and i'm going to save that to a native storage and i'm going to click on get button and i want to get it back and just show that here the next thing you want to do is you want to grab these two commands and paste them into terminal and install Cordova plugin and also install Ionic native native storage. I've already installed those, so I'm going to go to a usage section now. Here you can use this function to set items and you can use this function to get items. So I've already written those, I pasted them and configured them. So we'll go to home.ts file and here you can see we have imported first of all this native storage from native storage ngx as this usage said and also I've added that constructor function here and implemented native storage into the constructor function. 
Then we have a title and then save to native and get from native. So this is the function that you write. And also what I want to do is when I save this a title key, when I'm getting back, I want to get back data.title. Also, the app won't work because you have to inject this native storage into your module. So we're going to go to app.module.ts file and in the providers, I'm just going to type a native storage. So we'll just do native storage and add a comma here. Let's save it. Now here it's causing an issue because it's coming from native storage. Uh, native storage. We're going to have an ng and ngx as well. And now once you type ngx, let's save the project and you will see our lab app will be back on. So here, now I want to type, hello, what are you doing? And I'm going to save this. And this time I'm going to just remove this uh, text within the input field. And I want to say gibberish. And when I click on this uh, get, and then this method will be executed. So it will go and get me a title key from a native storage. So if I click on that, I should get back what's going on. Click on that, there we go. So you have a hello, what's going on? All right guys, so this is how you store a values into your native storage, whether it's an iPhone or it's Android, all you gotta do is just use native storage and it's just an object that gets stored in iOS and Android and even the Windows as well. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.